Alrighty guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we are back on UMRV. We're going to be finishing up this raking and we're going to be tedding because I totally forgot about that step. So uh, yesterday I said we'd be finishing the raking and starting bailing today, but we got to finish up uh, raking and then ted. Um, I did fill both of the silos and I basically... Um, so after I made another, or got another wagon load of hay, or, you know, picked up grass, uh, I went and dumped it in, and I had, um, enough room for another 10,000 liters, but what I just went and did is I went and I just picked up the last of that second headland that we had done, and... I still have about maybe another 10 or so thousand liters left in the uh, chopper wagon. So, um, so we can add that later on whenever things uh, start to empty a little bit. And I did bail that one row there. I didn't ted that row. But I did bail it and I got one bale off of that one and I made another partial bale. So, I mean, it was doing pretty good already. So I think we're just going to pull the rake right up over here. We'll drop that there and we will go grab our tether. And we'll start tedding the hay that we have cut. So I'm thinking if we can make maybe around 150 hay bales or so, that should be plenty. Um, I don't see us needing more than that in a winter. But I guess if we do, there is always that buy bales script that we can uh, use, or I guess not script, mod that we can use if we so badly need it but I don't foresee us needing it okay so it's seven miles an hour that you can run with this so we're gonna go ahead and just get everything tedded up and then we can go ahead and uh, bail it if we get this tedding finished uh, that is What in the world is it doing? Okay, you know what? We're just going to skip the tedding. Because that's just getting rid of a bunch of our hay. And actually, on a Seasons Mod map, it's really not needed. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're just going to sell it. Just going to sell it. As this map is Seasons Mod ready, so we don't actually need to ted the hay. I think if we were to ted it, we probably should have tedded it, then raked it. I am thinking that's what we were supposed to do. So, we are going to finish raking and start bailing in this video then, like I said. So we'll just uh, shut the lights off, we'll drop the loader. And we are actually going to also unfold this rake. So that it can just sit on the ground. Versus uh, sit folded. Alright, we'll drop her down, and we'll leave it sit, and now uh, we will grab the baler. Yeah, so I made another almost half a bale. I don't need to turn that on yet. Yeah, so I made almost another half a bale off of that uh, one windrow there. We'll get this picked up here. We're going to go ahead and grab the thumbnail picture. 
and then I'm going to just drag it out right away because otherwise I forget about it and then I'm digging through my screenshots trying to figure out okay what the heck screenshot did I use there Okay, so we're going to turn around here and try and dump this on a flat spot, or a somewhat flat spot. We're going to probably be doing a lot of this because of the way that the area is. <laughs> he forgot to add his lights to that baler part. So as you can see, my bale texture is different. Uh, it's just a bale texture that I downloaded. Uh, if you just Google FS17 bale texture, there's all all kinds of them out there. Uh, I just picked one and downloaded it. Uh, it has new textures for the straw, the hay, and the grass bales. So um, so there is three different textures there. Uh, they are only for the round bales. Uh, it says in the download, at least the one that I downloaded, it said square bales coming soon. So I'm sure that they're going to be adding square bales into that at some point. Let's see, we'll try dumping it right here. I have a feeling it's going to roll some direction. Alright, cool, it stopped. Shut the baler off so that way we aren't running as high RPM. There we go. So, yeah, we'll be able to bail this whole field and then uh, we can swath all of this grass that's in the yard and then we should hopefully have quite a few bales. Uh, like I said, I'm hoping for 100, 150 or so. That should be plenty of hay, um, I would think. We'll also pick up some of this stuff that we left behind when we chopped. I definitely hate to dump a bale down in that thing. We would never get that bale out. This thing's really bogging down. Okay, so let's see if we can find a place to dump this bale. Maybe right over here will uh, work. Hopefully it'll stay for the most part. Sweet, it will. It's always the uh, hard thing in farm sim is trying to guess where it, where you can dump it and it'll stay. They don't always like to stay, especially in farm sim. They almost never want to stay where you dump them. I mean, in real life, if you're on a big enough hill, they will roll or tip over. But most of the time, if you're on a little bit of a hill, they don't really go too far. Because they're heavy enough that they kind of stop themselves. No, 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 no. Stop. <laughs> Stop. That's not good. That is really not good. Please stay. Okay. Whew. Although I don't think it would have gone. Well, it might have kept going.
So you know, if the, uh, like the Ursus bail loader trailer, if it didn't stack them straight up in the sky, you know, like if it just kind of laid them out on the ground, I'd probably use that. But, um, to show you what I'm talking about, I'm talking about, uh, this guy right here. When you dump them, it dumps them straight up in the air. So, like, they're, you know, that outside of the bale is the only thing showing except for the top two bales where you can actually see the middle of the bale and it it kind of stinks I really wish that it just kind of laid them out flat kind of like uh, like our hay hiker that we have uh, in real life it um, it just pushes them off the back and then they kind of just you know they just act like you put them there with a tractor basically they don't go straight up in the air like that thing does. So I kind of wish that uh, that Ursus did that. I would like to make a Hay Hiker mod or something very similar to it, but I'm not exactly sure how I would set that up. I mean, I would, I could make the model somewhat easily. And you know, of course, I haven't made a model in a while. But, I mean, the model would be the easiest part on it. It would just be figuring out how to, like, script it and everything that would kind of be the pain in the butt. It's kind of funny that, uh, Black Sheep forgot to put those lights onto the, you know, like in the same transform group as the end gate, so that they would actually like move with the end gate. <laughs> Maybe he didn't actually notice that. I don't know. Could be something to point out to him, I guess. Or her, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly sure if it's a guy or a girl. It could be one of the two. Well, it could be. I'm sure it is one of the two. I'm just not exactly sure which one it would be. But, uh,. Definitely something that would be worth pointing out to Black Sheep and saying, I think you missed that, but it doesn't really bother me that much, because it's only open for a few seconds, but... It's kind of hard to bail in cab on this tractor. Can't really see where you're going. I know I'm going way faster than you would in real life, but it is farm sim, so uh, let's take a peek here at how many bales we've made. How many bales so far? Nine. So we're still a long way from a hundred, but. We're also not quite done with this field, and we still have a lot more hay to uh, be cut and raked and baled, so. We might end up having to do like a second cut on a couple of fields, but for the most part, I think we should be able to get a majority of the hay just in this first cutting. I can definitely say I don't ever want to cut this field again because this field is ridiculous. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't cut as much as I have cut now. Like, I would leave so many of these hillsides alone because I don't want to deal with them. Like, right about here, I would have cut across. I wouldn't have gone all the way down here like I have.
And I would definitely not dump a bale right here. If I filled up on the edge there, I would drive to the top of the hill and dump it. Because otherwise it would be way down in that coolie down there, so. We do not want that. Because there'd be no getting that thing back. <laughs> It'd be gone. It'd be gone for good. This is a might be a case of us filling on this hill. Yep. So we're just gonna turn around and go over here and dump the bale. Right here will do good. especially want to floor it going down that hill to try and get as much momentum going up that hill as I can otherwise we might get stranded on it Time. Still got about 12 minutes, so. so I'm just gonna back up and kind of make this go crooked a little bit. There we go. Even in real life, sometimes you gotta get kind of creative on the ways that you dump a bale. So that way it doesn't roll. And there's a lot of times where you fill up on like an end row or on a hillside even. And I know like my uncle had to do that quite a few times um, in one field because, you know, at one point um, he had me raking and he was just following behind me in the baler because he had raked two passes around the field already and so I was just coming in and I was gonna do one more pass around the end and then um, you know just work on raking the rest of the field and he was gonna follow me because uh, he had already raked a portion of the field the day before so he was gonna be working on baling that and uh, so he followed me when I did that last row and uh, he bailed that right away so that way I wouldn't have to drive over it or worry about it or anything like that and uh, we got to one hillside and uh, <coughs> he had to do a lot of turning around and dumping and or even kind of backing up and going crooked to empty We're going to have to get up to the top of this hill here. He's got three more rows left. So I think after we finish haying this field... Um, I'll fast forward to the next day to get it to, you know, some better daylight and stuff. Oh boy, come on, tractor, get up this hill. 
um, just to get to the next day to have some better light and then you know we got plenty of time where we can kind of mess with the days a little bit I guess you could say uh, you know we got plenty of time between now and when we need to start fertilizing heavily and stuff so I'm gonna stop that bale with the baler here perfect because I have a feeling that one would have kept going all the way down that hill and we'd have lost that one I would like to not lose any hay if at all possible Of course, we're going to fill on this hillside again. So how many bales have we made here? 16 so far. So that's not actually that bad for this field. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent amount. It's still a long way from like a hundred, but like I said, we still got quite a bit of hay to cut as well, so. All right, and that is a wrap on this field. So, how much time do we still have left? Eight minutes. Okay, so I guess we can fast forward to the next day and we'll get started on mowing some more hay. Well, let's pull this up beside the rake here. Drop the pickup. We'll turn off these lights. Okay, so let's just go to the next day here. Perfect. Uh, I am just going to save the game. So we have what? We have 100,000 liters of storage capacity, it says. So that's really not all that much. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll grab the swather here. Get our door swung open. Fire it up and lift our header. I don't know if I got this gate open still. Nope. Okay, so we gotta go to this other gate. Which is quite alright, I guess. Both of them will get us where we're going. So now we're just gonna cut this hay that's in the yard here. Uh, I know there's not much in these two spots, but I am still gonna cut them. And it's two passes, but... If we don't cut it, that's two passes that we don't have. So I guess it doesn't hurt anything. Hay is hay. This one will be kind of interesting to rake. Because of the goofy way that I kind of cut it. So we'll go over to this tree here and cut on into this field. Or I guess it's not really a field, but into this bit of hay that we are going to cut. We'll get a few windrows out of this, a couple of bales probably. It'll be uh, just a little bit more to add to the 
amount of hay. As a little bit of hay is better than no hay, I guess. And a little bit of stuff to cut is better than nothing to cut, so... I mean, it's a... It's definitely not a bad situation or anything like that, you could say. Definitely a kind of an odd spot, but it's working, I guess. So let's try and not go into the little pond. Cause that would not be a fun thing to do. Stick the swather in the pond. other side of this tree or these trees I guess you could say so this one we're definitely not going to get to do much for dumping the bales along here because they might flip over or something like that and go into the water I mean they would in real life I guess but we can just dump them on the road there Might get a little closer to that bench, but um, get a little more cut around the bench there. But I'm gonna cut this area first. <gasps> that one there is a relatively large area, so that one will probably make a decent few bales. Might go over to that uh, other farm there, the one that is uh, just to our east. I know there's a little bit of area that we can cut there, so we might go cut that. And then there is a little area uh, straight in front of us across the road that we could cut. And, yeah, there's plenty of areas that we can still cut. Now that I'm seeing kind of how many bales we've made so far, I'm thinking that uh, we may end up doing a second cut. Not exactly sure how long it takes for the grass to grow. We may have to do our one of our rounds of fertilizer before we uh, do our second cutting. Because I'm not exactly sure just how long it takes for the grass to come back. It probably takes like a day or so, or two maybe. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure on that. But we'll, uh, we'll figure it out eventually here get our necessary amount of hay like I said I'm not exactly even sure how many bales we will need 
but uh, we'll make a good amount. Okay, so that is the time. So off camera, I will finish swathing this little patch. Uh, I'll cut this little bit here as well. And I probably will cut down in here too. Uh, I'll just cut up to this grass. Or, you know, like these other grass layers. I'm not going to cut right here. Uh, maybe anyways. We'll see. We're not going to right now. But then the other patch that I was talking about is right here. There is this little bit of hay here that we could cut. Um, let's just take a run back here. And we got a little bit of this ditch hay that we could cut a row of. And then we do have this area here that we can cut. This is actually a pretty decent size. We've got that one. Uh, we've got this big area here that we can cut. This is a really large area, actually. Uh, and it goes all the way back here. Back to this old bin. we got this patch that we can cut. Well, this is actually part of... Well, no, it's not connected to what we're going to cut, but... Uh, it is stuff that we can cut, and then I think that there's this little patch back here, too, that we could actually go ahead and cut. Yeah, there's a bit of a grass area here, too, that we can cut. So we've got quite a bit just around the house that we can do. So, yeah, like I said, I'll finish cutting that area uh, that we're in right now, um, and then... When we come back, we'll work on raking it uh, all together and possibly start bailing. But that's going to do it for today. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.